Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double Vibes and in this video lecture, I am going to explain the procedure of the adaptive Huffman decoding. And uh, what we will have at the beginning, at the beginning you must have a binary string that you want to decode and then a tree and we will construct the tree using the same binary information just like we did at the encoding procedure. One thing you must always uh, remember that we will choose the same value of E, M and R while performing the dec decoding procedure. Alright. Okay. Once you have the binary uh, string, we will traverse the tree in a manner identical to the U to that used in the encoding procedure. And once we encounter a leaf the symbol corresponding to that particular leaf is actually decoded so i will be using the same tree example that i use for the encoding time if the leaf will not be the nyt node then we check the next e bits to see if the resulting number is less than r or not if it is less than r we will read in another bit to complete the code for the symbol the index for the symbol is obtained by adding one to the decimal number corresponding to e or e plus one bit binary string once the symbol has been decoded the tree is updated and the next received bit is used to start and other traverse down to the tree to see how this works let us start with this binary string that we generated using the time of encoding the sequence A, A, C, D, D, V, E and we will see how we can attain or decode this binary string into this symbol string. Fine. Initially, we will start with the same NYT node whose weight is 0 and therefore the first symbol to be decoded must be obtain from the NYT list because it doesn't have any leaf present in it right now. So we read in the first four bits which are 0, 0, 0, 0 in this case. Okay, as this is less than the value of R, let me uh, just make it clear. Previously we used R is equal to 10 and E is equal to 4. Okay, and M was equal to 26 during the time of encoding procedure okay so as this is less than the value of r since r is equal to 10 so 0 is less than 10 we read in one more bit for the entire code of 5 so i will add another bit in it and hence i will find the decimal equivalent of this bit combination which corresponds to 0 Okay, so five zero are basically corresponding to zero in the decimal. Adding one to this decimal value will correspond to the binary stick, uh, string, and I will get the index received symbol as one. So here k is equal to one, and we know that a one corresponds to the first alphabets in the. Or, in the symbols so basically the first symbol that we will encode at the receiving side is a once you will receive or identify this symbol the tree will be updated like that fine so in this way you will keep constructing the tree as well just like you did at the time of the encoding procedure next we read the next bit which is one in this case if you are at the root and if you trace the path from the root node to the external node then it corresponds to A because the bit is 1 so its weight is 1 that's why it's corresponding to A which means the next symbol you will decode is A. Fine. Now the tree will be updated like that and only the weight will be increased so the weight of the node a will become 
to now and hence we update the tree fine what we'll do in the next procedure we will read the next bit which is zero in this case and if you look at this zero and you traces the path from root to nyt node since it is it is corresponding to nyt node now so that's why what you will do you will read in the next four bits the next four bits are actually equal to 0 0 0 1 fine and if you find the decimal equivalent of this it is equal to 1 which is less than r and here r is equal to 10 so 1 is less than 10 that's why in order to make e plus 1 bit code i will read another bit over here and hence you can see the binary code will be 0 0 0 1 0 its decimal value is 2 now let's call it p in order to find the value or the index values so k will be equal to p plus 1 which is equal to 3 and hence you can see that we are talking about the third symbols in the alphabets which means c so the next symbol that you will decode is c fine in this way we will keep updating the tree as well now the c node has been added in the tree all right now what happened now we read the next bit which is zero so it is not corresponding to the external leaf fine we will read another bit now we read the zero it was not corresponding to external leaf so we will read another bit which is zero again again when you will read zero zero it is corresponding to the nyt node now fine then the next step is to read the next four bits or e bits we call them e bits since these e bits are zero 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 one fine if you find the decimal equivalent of it it's equal to one which is less than 10 so what i have to do i will add an other bit in it in order to complete a five bit code so the code will be zero 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 one and one and if you find the decimal equivalent of it it is equal to three why because it's two raised to power zero two raised to power one then two raised to power two two raised to power three and then two raised to power four so this and this bit are on at this time so two raised to power zero is one one plus two raised to power one is one so one plus two is three so that's why this is my number p and the k is equal to p plus one which is equal to four so we are talking about the fourth symbol in the alphabets which is d so the next letter to be decoded is d now what we will do we will update the tree again like that so in this way we have decoded twice a one c and one d all right we will continue this procedure the next bit is zero so let me just match it with my tree as well so here i am at the root and i read it zero it's not an external leaf so i will read another bit again it's corresponding to zero fine and then the next bit is one so the path is tra while traversing is zero zero one which is corresponding to the letter d which is an external leaf so the next symbol should be d which is exactly equal to what while we did during the encoding procedure all right so far we have decoded these bits now in this way we will update the tree as well and the weight of the node d2 should become 2 now once the weight of the 2 uh, d becomes 2 you can see that the sibling property is not met so that's why we will update the tree by switching their positions and ultimately you can see over here the tree is updated where the sibling property is met what was the sibling property the sibling property says that the weight of the right hand side root should always be greater than or 
equal to the weight of the left hand side node fine so here the conditions are met we have add so far decoded twice d one c twice a all right the next so here is the tree that we will be using while decoding procedure so look at the next bit combination it is one if i traverse corresponding to one i will be over here then the next bit is one again one then zero zero so this one one zero is actually corresponding to nyt node whenever you will have the nyt node you will have to read next e bits so read next e bits fine when i will read next e bits which is 1011 in this case let me just write it down separately 1011 in this case and if we find the decimal equivalent of these bits it corresponds to the 11 8 4 2 1 so it correspond to the decimal value 11 which is greater than basically what 10 now what we will do we will just add r into its value so how p will be decoded now p should be equal to this decimal value plus r which is 10 in this case and it corresponds to 21 and now k will be equal to p plus 1 the same formula we used earlier so it becomes 22 and when you look at the 22nd element of the alphabets it corresponds to the symbol v so the next decoded symbol is v in this case all right and our pre is updated like that now where the node v has been added in it fine now keep reading the next bit combination so we are at one when you will traverse to the three one then one again so you will traverse over here and then you have to move to zero zero so these four bits are corresponding to my n y t node now i will read the next four bits which is zero zero one zero so next four bits are zero zero one zero its decimal equivalent is basically equal to 2 which is less than 10 so what I will do I'll read another bit fine in order to make a 5 bit code so it will be 0 0 1 0 and 0 all right and if you find the decimal equivalent of it it becomes 4 now what we do this is the value of P and the K is found by using this formula k is equal to p plus 1 which is equal to 4 plus 1 in this case 5 and which is corresponding to the fifth alphabet fifth symbol in the alphabet so a b c d e and hence the last decoded symbol is e in this way basically we perform the decoding procedure so in short if you want to just give it a quick review how do we start we keep reading the bit combination until we read an external leaf if the leaf is corresponding to the symbol we will just write it down the symbol and if it is corresponding to the nyt node we will read e number of bits and we will check its decimal value is greater than or less than r if it is less than r we will read another bit to find the decimal equivalent of the p and then the index k is found by using the formula k is equal to p plus 1 and then we write down the corresponding symbol thank you for watching